Hello, Middlebury! This is what's happening in our world. Fire and fireworks join sledding and sculpting students. What a wonderful winter carnival. I just wish it could have been colder. Then, the future of Vermont's only nuclear power plant hangs in the balance. This is a debate we hope doesn't get any hotter. Also, how can we gain a better understanding about the Middle East? Opportunities are arriving on campus. This is Mid-5. Our first story. Last weekend, we celebrated our 88th Winter Carnival. From spectacles like the raging bonfire to the splendid fireworks, to competitions like the Northern Lights and ice sculptures. It certainly was a great weekend that already has us looking forward to next year's. Now, our second story. Everybody get out your periodic tables, because the element of the week is tritium. That was the element found last year, leading from Vermont Yankee, Vermont's only nuclear power plant. Governor Shumlin hopes to shut down the plant, but if that happens, 650 Vermonters will lose their jobs. For more information, check out the article in this week's paper. Our third story is about this show. This show is a moving supplement to the campus's newspaper. But what is it going to be about? Well, that's for you and I to decide. We'll cover past events on campus, as well as highlight future ones. But we won't be limited by our campus or our state. We'll also take a look at national and international events that will shape our future. For our fourth story, let's take a look at mid next week. We have two really cool events coming up. The first is the Spring Symposium on Justice in America. The action starts this Sunday with a keynote speech entitled, A Hip-Hop Theory to Justice, Race, and the American Justice System. There will be workshops and lectures throughout the week, given by lawyers, reform activists, and even ex-prisoners. Second up, I give you Turf Wars. The space between the Atwater Suites is a bit bare, and three groups of students have submitted proposals on how to fill it. Upon hearing about the plans, a new Feb asked, but where will they put it? There's always snow there. The proposals range from an outdoor performance space to a garden to a plaza with a pond. These groups will face off next week in the Dana Auditorium, and the audience will get to provide input on the final decision. All we know for sure is that come next fall, there will be something new in the Atwater area. We can only hope that someday it will not have to be closed and then only used for continental breakfast. Our fifth story. Whenever someone says they're taking a course regarding the politics of the Middle East, I say, oh, you wanted an easy course. It's hard to speak with confidence about the Middle East, but it is a region on the rise, and understanding it may prove important not just for members of our new Arabic major, but for our entire generation. What do present events mean for gas prices or the war in Afghanistan? In 10 years, will countries like Egypt, Libya, and Tunisia be feared or vacation spots? We don't know yet. But the next opportunity to learn more is at a presentation by a recent alum who spent three years traversing all around the Middle East, including spending two weeks at the epicenter of Egypt's revolution. Those are the five. Thank you for watching our first show. This is the start of a dialogue, of a journey for you and I. So please leave a comment. I'm determined to make this the best show that we can. Only 83 days remain in this semester. Let's make the most out of them.